In this video, I'll show you a Buck Boost Battery Manager IC that can charge your device battery using standard USB PD voltages, but it can also work in reverse, providing output to power or charge other devices. And so we have Rome's BD99954 evaluation kit here. And you can see the IC itself. The design is actually fairly compact and most of the board consists of connectors and test points for your evaluation. And in this video, we actually have two demos. One where we'll show the BD99954 charging an internal battery from an external supply, and one where we'll show it in reverse with the BD99954 powering or charging that external load using the internal battery. In the first demo, we'll show the BD99954 charging our internal battery. So for that, we have our 15 volt power supply connected to VBUS, and we have our SMU connected to VBAT, and then we have a DMM connected to VSYS so that we can show that there's a constant output to the system as well. The power supply is set to 15 volts, although the BD99954 can take any USB PD standard voltage. And our SMU is set up to be 5.5 volt sync so that it acts like a depleted two cell battery. Now we have some software here that can drive the BD99954 and set all of its parameters. And so we'll cover those as well. In the software, I have the bus current limit set to 1.5 amps. And over here is where I can set the parameters for our automatic JADA compliant charging profile. So the VSYS reg set is set to about seven volts. Pre-charge threshold is at six volts. And the fast charge reg set is at 8.4 volts. And so as we ramp up our simulated battery, we will step through each of those stages in the charging profile. And the appropriate current will be output at each stage as well. Now I'll enable the SMU and the charge enable on the BD99954. And at 5.5 volts, we're below our pre-charge threshold. So you'll see that 250 milliamps that we have set for the trickle charge. Now we're going to simulate charging the battery. So we'll ramp up and you can see when we cross into that six volt range, that changes into our pre-charged current, which is 500 milliamps. If we keep going, when we pass seven volts, we'll get into our fast charge state. So there you see about that two and a half amps. And as we continue on, Once we hit that 8.4 volts, then it wants to go into that termination charge. And after a few seconds, it will end. So now we're gonna change our setup and we'll come back and we'll do that second demo where we show the device charging in reverse. Now for our second demo, we'll use the BD99954 in reverse. So it's going to charge an external device or power it. And so for that, we have the SMU connected to VBUS and it's going to act as that external device. We have our power supply connected to VBAT, and so it's going to act as our internal battery, and we still have our DMM connected to VSYS. Now our power supply is set to 8.4 volts, again, to simulate that two cell battery, and our SMU is configured to draw 1.5 amps. And on the software, we have our output current limit set to two amps, and our VR boost set, which sets our output voltage to five volts. And again, these can provide higher current and higher voltage settings to comply with the USB PD specification. When I click VR boost enable zero, that sets the output to VBUS and VR boost trig will enable the output. So if I enable our SMU, you'll see that we get a five volt output that's drawing 1.5 amps. You can see that the single BD99954 buck boost charger enables a simpler design by allowing you to use a single power path to charge from and output at standard USB PD voltages. It's ideal for use in modern designs with USB Type-C, supports one to four cell batteries, and pairs well with Rome's USB PD devices that I've shown previously, as well as their wireless charging solutions. For data sheets and more information on the Rome BD99954 and this evaluation kit, visit rome.com.